Hi guys, I'm Daddy Freeze, convener of the Free the Sheeple Movement and leader of the Free Nation in Christ. I greet you and I bring glad tidings. My attention has been drawn to a lot of stuff said online um, regarding my relationship with Hush Poppy and, and I'm here to address it. Um, I, I shouldn't normally, but I can see that it's, cre it's creating a lot of misconception. It, it's creating a lot of nonsense. Let me start with this. I'm going to show you a video that was recorded a year ago during my live show on Cool FM at that time. Um, we had a show called After Dark and on that show that day with me was Naomi Crystal and um, Princess. And we, the previous day, we had talked about Hush Poppy's income and um, Naomi was like, we don't know what his income was. So I got Hush Poppy on the phone and we discussed his income and uh, we had a whole video recorded live in the studio during a show that was broadcast live to a live audience and the entire show was more or less spent discussing Hush Puppy's income or what he said his income was. All I was just saying is I didn't know his source of income but thank God for that call that clarified things with me. Guys, I Naomi know... was talking to Hush Puppy on the phone yeah, yesterday so he... for like five minutes. Exactly. So he told me a couple of things that he does to generate his money and it's cool, right? It's, it's really cool. It's really cool that he you that know, he cleared the air. Yes, that he cleared the air. So you spoke to Hush Puppy, my my piece of. Wow. He was so how nice. Do I, how do I create controversy so that Hush Puppy? He was so nice. He had the fact that he he tried to clarify. It's a good mm. thing, right? right. So, but we, I, I have a confession about Hush Puppy. I followed right. Hush Puppy on every social media. Why? He's only he was on Instagram. Me. He was He's on my Snapchat on and Instagram. Okay. Okay. I followed him. I couldn't because when you it. said every social media, I, some people think Twitter. No, no, no. Just Sorry, I meant Twitter. Snapchat and Instagram. I could. I was go, about to have a heart attack. My money have no. So like I was yeah. like I can't be doing this. Can't be wake up in the morning. Yeah. Yes, you should have joined us. So if you see the he can be he can't be tensioning you. The people that he will tension are people that No, I'm tensioned. Yeah. <laughs> it's not your you tension. Know, sometimes poor yeah, people get tension too. Yes, we get tension. <laughs> <laughs> all right, where are all those people that were calling yesterday that wanted to die? No, but I think it's a nice thing that Hush Puppy even thought about okay, let me just call and put you know, clear this girl. Oh, I don't know what he does for. He said he's an influencer and you know, he has a couple of businesses here and they cover for his bills, which is good, okay. But then again, it's still okay for everybody to choose who they want to influence them. Me, because of my kind of lifestyle, I have the particular people that I would look up who to. Who is know, an influencer for you? It's not, no, it's not, it, it's nobody on the ground. This video was recorded a year ago. My interview with Hush Puppy was recorded eight months ago. There was a clear four-month gap between the video we did on the radio that's still available on my YouTube channel. I'm going to put up the um, a, a link to the video right here so you can go and watch that video. Now, four whole months later, I'm doing a totally different interview. This time, I'm doing an exclusive um, you can't you can discuss income on the radio but you can't show Gucci and Versace on the radio four months later we were in Dubai and I used that as an opportunity it was a cool FM trip I wasn't invited there specifically to do a hush puppy interview I was there with cool FM we're doing um, cool FM bonding and having fun and I had an interview done with Hush Puppy. I do a lot of exclusive interviews. I've had exclusives done with Techno, with Ubi Franklin, um, with Hush Puppy, with um, Regina Daniels and her husband. And guess what? The Regina Daniels interview was done the day before the Hush Puppy interview. So Hush Puppy was not the only interview I did in Dubai. All these interviews are available for you online. You can verify everything I'm saying. You know, the internet never forgets, so it's right there for you. When I didn't discuss Hush Puppy's source of income in the Dubai interview, it's because I spent a whole show discussing it in Lagos, online, on the radio at the same time, in a video that's available to you, if only you search. So I now have to babysit you and do a video to tell you about a video I've done and another video I've done and to show you what's available to you because simply you wouldn't research and you're wondering why your pastors are eating off you. I'll take this a little further. How did I meet Hush Puppy? 
I went to Dubai in December 2017. It was a, an Infinix foam launch and I was one of the guests. And um, one of the days I was in my hotel room and I tweeted that I was in Dubai and he reached out to me and we hooked up and we had dinner. And what we talked about was social media influencing and trolls and, and that kind of thing, nothing else. And he told me there that he was an influencer. I went back to Nigeria, we kept in touch, I can keep in touch with a lot of people. He was very cool. At that point, I was going through a lot in the hands of my former friends who simply because I decided to show them stuff in the Bible that went against the teachings of their pastors, they all went against me. I was unfollowed by a, a huge volume of people. But Hush Puppy didn't unfollow me, reached out to me, hung out with me, didn't discriminate against me. Why should I discriminate against him? He's given me, he's told me what his source of income was as of that time. Now, let me make a statement clear to you. I do not support fraud and um, I do not support even the appearance of fraud. So, I wouldn't do a video today showcasing his lifestyle if he had a case in court or if he had a case with the police. As of the time I did the video, which is exactly eight months ago, according to YouTube data that's available to you, he had no case. And even now, until he's proven guilty by a competent court, we, we have to sit down and wait and allow the court to do its work. Now, when we're in Dubai for the Cool FM event, I stayed at a hotel with all my Cool FM colleagues. Um, and the day of the interview started with me going to meet Hush Puppy up in the Burberry VIP lounge. Hush Puppy's birthday. Wow. We're at um, the Burberry VIP lounge yes. and we're celebrating a great man. Yes. <laughs> 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 we wish you many, many happy returns. And it's a very delicious cake. It's a very delicious cake. <laughs> yes. Burberry, they were hosting him. Burberry literally had a cake on the table. It's available in the video. A cake on the table and they were hosting him. We all, he, he, while we're driving to um, a restaurant, there was a guy in that Burberry shop who was begging Hush Puppy to come and spend 10 minutes with him in his restaurant, that he just launched a restaurant. And Hush Puppy was like, no, I can only spend five minutes. And the guy kept begging for 10 minutes. And eventually Hush Puppy succumbed and we went to the restaurant, had a few drinks, and then went someplace else. While we were driving, he got calls from Gucci, he got calls from Versace, he got calls from LV, all wanting to host him. And he says he's an influencer. I was, he didn't get any call from any hackers. He didn't get any call, at least while I was there. There was nothing suspicious while I was there. I didn't meet him at the venue of a crime or a crime scene. I met him in two places. One, the Burberry VIP lounge that was open to exclusive members of the public and his house. The interview was shot either in those places or in between those places. We never hung out with him. I never saw him personally hang out any criminals or anything simple. Now, that's my job. It's my job to bring you exclusive interviews. Like I said earlier on, I've done exclusive with Tonto DK, with Tobi Franklin, with even um, the lady that was a, uh, a former adult movie star. I've done exclusives with Techno. I do exclusives. I want to go to those places where nobody else goes into and bring it out to you. It's my day job. Now listen, yeah. A lot of people say, oh, Peter was a fisherman and Paul was a tent maker. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know how to fish and I don't know how to make tents. And I'm not going to learn how to fish or make tents simply because I want to make you happy. Because the same you would still go out and say, ah, Daddy Freeze is hungry. He's just a fisherman, a poor fisherman, and he's insulting our geos. Come on. This is my job. And guess what? There's something people don't tell you about Peter. Paul and Barnabas were the only ones who actually worked. 
Peter down to his wife was supported by the church. I don't want to be supported by the church. That is why I work. So allow me to do my work. You're asking me about his source of income? Go and watch my video recorded a year ago. Must we discuss something twice because you're slow to understand? Now, there are another set of guys who say, Oh, Daddy Freeze, you're, you're hanging out with criminals, blah, 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 blah. Okay. First things first is, I didn't know him to be a criminal. If I did, I wouldn't hang out with him. And unless someone is proven guilty, I do not discriminate against them. Because the one who taught me Christianity, the one who I follow, Yahushua, the Christ, who taught me through the scriptures, did not discriminate. And I have a Bible verse I'd like to share with you. Let, let's study this together. Go with me to the book of Mark, chapter 2, verse 15. Later, Levi invited Yahushua and his disciples to his home as dinner guests along with many tax collectors and other disreputable sinners. There were many people of this kind among Yahushua's followers. I'm reading the New Living Translation and I'm substituting um, Yahushua for Jesus because I believe Jesus is a colonialist name. The real name of the Savior is Yahushua in Hebrew or Yeshua in Aramaic. So I'm going to take that again. Later, Levi invited Yahushua and his disciples to his home as dinner guests, along with many tax collectors and other disreputable sinners. In bracket, there were many people of this kind among Yahushua's followers. You can verify this scripture. I read it exactly the way it was from the New Living Translation. So I'm here to ask you, if Christ didn't, discriminate against people who followed. He didn't discriminate against um, the woman that the Pharisee said was a sinner when she washed his feet with her hair. He didn't discriminate against Zacchaeus, the short man who climbed the sycamore tree. And you know the funny thing is, he didn't even ask Zacchaeus for repentance. Zacchaeus offered the repentance. So we've got to be very careful I wear many caps. I'm a broadcaster, YouTuber, because broadcasting is now different from YouTube. YouTube is, what I do on YouTube is mostly entertainment. And I'm also a preacher. As a YouTuber, I'm not faulted in any way. As a broadcaster, I'm not faulted in any way. As a preacher, I'm not faulted in any way. I do not condone crime, and I never will. But also, I don't discriminate against people. Who reach out to me because let's remember Christ said he didn't come for the healthy but for the unhealthy the unhealthy are the ones who need me and another issue I like to address again is um, we we're having a conversation at the dinner table like I said in every video I've recorded every one of my exclusives there's always dinner involved so a lot of people are saying I went to eat in Hush Puppy's house I have an industrial kitchen in my house. I cannot leave my house to go, go and eat what? Unless, of course, it's exclusive things like a special grade caviar or lobster. Anything else, eat turkey that I cannot cook in my house. At the dinner table that day, we're making jokes. And if you followed me on the radio, on social media, on YouTube, those are my kind of jokes and they're meant for my audience. If you don't like it, unsubscribe, unfollow, block, whatever it is you feel comfortable doing, but that is the type of humor I have. And it wasn't dedicated, don't, don't, don't misrepresent this, it wasn't dedicated to hardworking Nigerians who are earning 35k or 20k struggling to make a living. It was dedicated to the haters, the trolls. The person who trolled my little son on social media was a git man more or less. These are the people who trolls. I'm not, I'm not trolling hardworking people who are earning um, money for their effort. No, I'm trolling you who in real life, you're really nothing. But because you've got the opportunity to have a smartphone, you can come and chat all sorts of rubbish. I've been trolled. Hush Puppy was trolled too. And we had that in common. So we spoke out about it. 
And I'm here to clarify that if you're a hardworking Nigerian, minding your own business, staying in your own lane, I wasn't talking to you. But if you're one of those people jumping on and off my uh, timeline, it's very easy. The trend will end on Twitter, max 48 hours. Then you'll come to my page and you know what I'll do with you? I'll make a donkey out of you all day, every day. So just prepare yourself. So, I don't believe I owed anybody this because there's video evidence out there. I just needed you to sit down and patch everything together and to make sense to you. I hope that now that I've addressed all these, I hope you are going to be quiet. On a final note, I work with 99.3 Nigeria Info and it is my job to get you talking. And I do that very well. I got you talking, didn't I? I gave you exclusive content to give, get you talking. I gave you insights that you wouldn't get elsewhere to get you talking. And I come on the radio to discuss topical issues every Monday through Thursday from 10 p.m. till midnight on 99.3 Nigeria Info to get you talking. And yes, it's my job to get you talking. And I got you talking. But now we're done talking. And since we're done talking, go and work. Make sure you get yourself a copy of The Greatest Reality Show by Melvin Ejiogu. It's available on Amazon.com. Just search for The Greatest Reality Show by Melvin Ejiogu. Or you can download online. Go to www.thegreatestrealityshow.com.ng and download for only 1,400 Naira. The Greatest Reality Show by Melvin Ejogu is a spiritual book, a book about how to face trying times, a book that could get you closer to God in the spirit. Get your copy now. God bless you.